It's mid-July here, just outside Bismarck, North Dakota, and it's time for another Delta Waterfowl Habitat Conditions Report. I'm Matt Chenard, Senior Waterfowl Programs and Research Manager for Delta Waterfowl. Here in North Dakota, conditions are still looking pretty good. The nesting season is winding down, but wetlands like these behind me were nearly completely dry by this time last year. And so this is great news for ducks. Um, most of the Dakotas are in great shape for nesting ducks and for, for broods, which is important. As you can see, there's lots of emergent vegetation, and that means these ducklings have a place to hide from, from aerial predators, and you know brood survival is gonna be higher in a year like this. That's the good news, is that the Dakotas are gonna have some good production, and hopefully that'll offset some of the production from other areas, and we'll have really good fall flights coming from this area into the Mississippi and Central Flyways. Southern Saskatchewan, southwestern Manitoba are pretty dry this year. They haven't had a lot of rains this summer and it's been spotty. There are some areas that are in better shape, but for the most part, uh, the southern part of the of the Canadian prairies are in, are in poor shape. Um, southern Alberta, in contrast, is actually in pretty decent shape, so there should be some good production there and that'll help out the Central Flyway and Pacific Flyway folks. Elsewhere in the U.S. and Canada, in the northeastern U.S. and southeastern Canada, in Quebec, Ontario, of course those northeastern U.S. states, conditions were pretty good this spring and, and so we're hopeful that we'll see some good production for duck hunters in the Atlantic Flyway. Out west the, in California they had decent habitat conditions there and good duck numbers so we expect to have a, a pretty good season in California and like I said Alberta had some good habitat conditions and that'll send some pintails and, and mallards down the Pacific Flyway. Way. That's it for the July Habitat Conditions Report. In August, we'll have the results from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and Canadian Wildlife Service uh, Breeding Habitat and Population Survey, and that'll give us a really strong idea of what, our fall, what to expect in our fall flight.